Are you tired of paying high state income taxes? Are you wanting to spend more time outdoors enjoying nature? Are you wondering if there's a place in the U.S. that's still affordable when it comes to housing and other expenses? Do you want to work at home and enjoy the world's fastest internet? If your answer to any of these questions is yes, then you are in the right place. Hi, this is Robert C. Baker with Move to Chattanooga and United Real Estate Experts, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the top 10 reasons why everyone is moving to Chattanooga, Tennessee. You know, there are a lot of videos out there talking about the benefits of moving to and living in Chattanooga. But in this video, you're going to hear from someone who was born in Chattanooga, grew up in the greater Chattanooga area, who spent time outside of Chattanooga, and yet who's chosen at this season of life to return to Chattanooga because of all the great things about Chattanooga. So let's get started. Number 10. Chattanooga is a great place for remote workers. If the pandemic taught us anything, it taught us that being healthy and happy, having a great work-life balance is really important. Chattanooga has the world's fastest internet, and because of that, we've had tons of remote workers and companies relocate here due to our tech culture and our world-class internet service. In fact, among other nicknames like Scenic City, River City, or simply Nuga, Chattanooga is also called Gig City, and for good reason. Chattanooga's EPB is in the process of upgrading its systems to, get this, 25 gigabytes. So if you can and want to work at home, let's say by designing software or games, or you need to communicate with clients nationally or internationally, nationally by Zoom or Google Meet, you can do that in the morning and then go mountain biking, rock climbing, or kayaking in the afternoon and enjoy a locally made craft beer and some delicious food that night. In fact, Chattanooga's high-tech atmosphere and opportunities to enjoy a great lifestyle is an irresistible combination for a lot of people. In housing, just like everywhere else, the cost of homes and rents in the greater Chattanooga area have risen quite a bit over the past couple of years, but in November of 2022, the median sales price for homes was $295,000 compared to the national average of $370,700. And while some costs are comparable to other areas of the country, overall you'll spend less here than you will in a lot of other places. Number 9. Chattanooga is decidedly pro-business. Due to its location on the Tennessee River, Chattanooga's pro-business roots go back literally millennia among indigenous populations, including Cherokee Chief John Ross, who established a trading post at Ross's Landing. We were the first place to bottle Coca-Cola. We invented the tow truck. We created created insurers like Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee and Unum. And today we manufacture everything from Allegra allergy medication to moon pies and Little Debbie snack cakes to Volkswagen electric vehicles. Chattanooga has a diverse, highly trained workforce, and because of that and many other factors, Chattanooga enjoys a lower unemployment rate compared to other areas in the country. Top employers include public and private schools, logistics companies, automobile manufacturers, advanced manufacturing companies, robotics, and healthcare institutions. And if you've always dreamed about creating a business, we've got help for that too. Chattanooga has the largest business incubator in the state of Tennessee and one of the largest in the nation. Number eight, did I mention no state income tax? Chattanooga is located in the southeastern portion of the state of Tennessee and Tennessee does not tax personal income or get this, retirement distributions. That means that more of whatever you make stays in your pocket. And that's why a lot of people, whether they're working or they're retired, are moving to Chattanooga because saving money is a good thing, right? But that's not the only financial reason to move to Chattanooga. Tennessee is also a triple A bond rated state and we have a balanced budget amendment to our state constitution. With so much talk and worry out there about state governments overspending, making speculative investments, and jeopardizing retirement incomes, isn't it refreshing to know that you have adults at the Tennessee State House who are conservative when it comes to money? Now I do have to mention two other things. First, Tennessee has a high sales tax, although food is taxed at a lower rate. We do have sales tax holidays, so if you move here, you'll want to be apprised of the dates of those sales tax holidays. Then again, because home values here are less than they are in other areas, our property taxes are also lower in comparison. For example, some clients of mine moved to Chattanooga from Chicago in 2022. The property tax on their home there was over $9,000 a year. They bought a larger home here on a much larger lot, and they love it. 
Property tax, just over $2,000 a year. Number seven, education. Believe it or not, a lot of folks who eventually move to Chattanooga do so because of the educational experiences they've had here. Now, let me be frank, our public primary school system is challenged, but our school boards, educational leaders, and teachers are committed to improving not just test scores, but also the lives of our students. Education plays a central role in the greater Chattanooga area culture. The Hamilton County school system is the region's largest employer, and many of our students have gone on to do so really great things. But because living here while being a student is fun, enjoyable, and rewarding, a lot of folks decide to stay or move back to Chattanooga once their formal education is complete. Chattanooga offers both public and private school choices. There are a number of magnet schools and educational opportunities range from pre-K to PhD. Now that may be hard to believe given that the greater Chattanooga area has just over 500,000 residents and the city of Chattanooga itself is Tennessee's fourth largest. But let's take the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga for an example. In addition to baccalaureate degrees, UTC offers master's degrees in diverse fields such as criminal justice, nursing, applied mathematics, business administration, cybersecurity, and engineering. And then there are doctoral degrees in leadership, education, and nursing practice. And UTC isn't our only university. Private university options include Southern Adventist University, Lee University, Bryan College, Covenant College, and Tennessee Westland. I should also mention that we have several state colleges and two-year colleges and professional and trade schools to boot. So when it comes to many fields and disciplines, Chattanooga's educational experience has you covered. Number six, music and the arts. When folks think of music in Tennessee, they usually think about Nashville or Memphis, but Chattanooga is a music center as well. The city has given birth to or raised nationally and internationally known musicians and groups like Bessie Smith, Usher, Kane Brown, Lauren Elena, Fred Cash and Sam Gooden, who formed The Impressions, Roger Allen Wade, and others. I should also mention that Chattanooga is the hometown of two of my favorite actors, Samuel L. Jackson and the late Leslie Allen Jordan. And Chattanooga is growing as a music center. Chattanooga has numerous paid and free musical events throughout the year. We host the Riverbend Festival, Pops on the River, Moon River, Riverfront Nights, and Nightfall, which is a series of free weekly musical events running May through August at Miller Plaza downtown. Bluegrass lovers will enjoy the Three Sisters Bluegrass Festival, which is a free two-day event held on Ross's Landing. Or catch the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera at the historic Tivoli Theater, playing classical pieces as well as big band and blues. And when it comes to art, we've got the internationally known Hunter Museum of American Art, which is situated in the super fun Arts District. The Hunter has one of the finest collections of American art in the Southeast, including paintings, sculpture, and studio glass. Want to buy? Check out the Area 61 Gallery, which features local artists who produce handcrafted furniture, jewelry, pottery, and fine art. Number five. Now, certainly Chattanooga has numerous attractions and events that residents and visitors enjoy and what Chattanooga is known for. We've got the historic Chattanooga Choo Choo, the National Medal of Honor Heritage Center, the Tennessee Aquarium, the Incline Railway, Ruby Falls, Rock City, the Tennessee Valley Railway Museum, and in neighboring North Georgia, the Chickamauga Chattanooga National Military Park and Lake Winnipesoka. Chattanooga also hosts two Ironman competitions one in the spring and one in the fall, and we have the Chattanooga Lookouts, the AA baseball affiliate of the Cincinnati Reds. In fact, we're in the process of building a new stadium for the looks. But in addition to attractions, Chattanooga has a vibrant food scene. And while we have southern comfort food like fried chicken, potato salad, and sweet tea, we've got some of the best steaks and burgers and seafood anywhere around. There's German, Vietnamese, and Thai, some of the best Italian that I've tasted, and perhaps the world's best pancakes, and several delicious vegan options as well. But that's not all. Although we're still in what's called the Bible Belt, Chattanooga has a growing brew culture with 12 microbreweries, many of which serve food along with their beverages, and some of which have outdoor dining opportunities. We have two whiskey distilleries, and there are a number of wineries within about an hour's drive or so. But if beer isn't your thing, coffee may be, and boy do we have some great coffee shops and coffee roasters. Now a lot of these you're going to find in our North Shore, downtown, or south side areas, although you'll find Together Cafe and Historic High Highland Park, Goodman Coffee Roasters main location in St. Elmo, Mad Priest Coffee Roasters on Wilcox, Oaks Coffee House off of Bonnie Oaks, and Green Bean Coffee Company in East Brainerd. Number three, access to health care. You know, whether you've just been welcomed into the world or you're now enjoying your golden years, health care is important. And the Greater Chattanooga, Tennessee area is fortunate to have not one but three major health care providers, Erlanger, CHI Memorial, and Parkridge, as well as specialized service providers and clinics. Erlanger Health System's primary hospital, Erlanger Barrett,
Marinus is located near Chattanooga's downtown area and has the tri-state region's only level one trauma center. Erlanger also has two additional satellite hospitals, a behavioral health center, and Erlanger Children's Hospital, which has a level four neonatal ICU, as well as a pediatric trauma team. CHI Memorial is known for the Chattanooga Heart Institute, Three Skiller and Cancer Institute, and the Mary Ellen Loker Breast Center, and has three locations in the greater Chattanooga area. Parkridge Hospital offers diagnostic and surgical services, cardiovascular surgery, and spinal surgery and treatment, and has five locations. Additionally, Chattanooga has a practically new veterans clinic located on Shalford Road. Number two, location. As I mentioned, Chattanooga is located in the southeastern part of Tennessee, right above the Georgia state line, but it's just a hop, skip, and a jump either to Alabama or North Carolina. What's factored a great deal in Chattanooga being a central location for moving people and goods across the country, there's a location right on the Tennessee River and the historical importance of the railway and now interstate system. And in my opinion, it's really easy to travel to and from Chattanooga. Sure, we've got some kinks to work out at what we affectionately refer to as the split, but Chattanooga is located right on the convergence of I-75, which runs north and south, and I-24, which runs east and west. And living in Chattanooga, for many residential areas, you're only about 20 minutes or so away from everything, 30 minutes tops. And if you can't find what you need in Chattanooga, say you want to see the Tennessee Titans or the Atlanta Braves play, or you want more indoor shopping options, just hop on the freeway and travel to Nashville or Atlanta. Those cities, as well as Knoxville and Birmingham, are roughly two hours away. And if you prefer to travel by air, drive over to our centrally located Class C Chattanooga Metropolitan Airport. Chattanooga is serviced by Delta, United, American Airlines and Allegiant. Non-stop flights are available to Atlanta, Dallas, Chicago, Detroit, Washington, D.C., Charlotte, Orlando, and Tampa. And number one, the great outdoors. We have four seasons, so if you enjoy colorful spring flowers, the warm summer sun, beautiful fall foliage, and only a couple of inches of snow per year, Chattanooga may be right for you. Compared to other areas of the country, Chattanooga's weather is mild, winters can dip for a few days into the single digits, and be advised that what little snow accumulates does tend to shut down schools and businesses for about a day or so. Summers can be hot and humid. We do get quite a bit of rainfall, some 55 inches per year, and we get quite a bit of rain during the fall. Compared to other areas, however, However, the weather is temperate. Let me tell you, I live through ice and snow in St. Louis, Missouri, which is not fun, and I've survived hot and humid summers in both Miami and Vero Beach, Florida, and in comparison, Chattanooga's changing seasons are pleasant. Because Chattanooga lies in the Cumberland Plateau, Chattanooga is chock full of mountains and hills and rivers and lakes. Hiking, mountain biking, rock climbing, paragliding, golf and tennis are just a few things that you could do here. The Tennessee River runs literally through the center of our downtown area and just north of the Chickamauga Dam we have Chickamauga Lake. Now, the lake has nearly 800 miles of shoreline, and so we have all manner of water sports and water-related activities. Chattanooga has so many outdoor recreation opportunities, it really is an ideal place for folks looking to live an active outdoor lifestyle. In fact, the city was awarded Outdoor Magazine's Best Town Ever title for two years. The city of Chattanooga even has a special division within the Parks and Outdoors Department called Outdoor Chattanooga, which offers classes in archery, mountain biking, kayaking, and rock climbing. Want to learn about what I love about Chattanooga? Watch this video next.